Welcome everyone to this 2K Sports Podcast live from the capital city of California, Sacramento. This game in Sacramento marks the start of a homestand for the King. They feel like they're a better team than the record shows in games like this one. It's an opportunity to prove it. They can step it up and make a game of this season. Well, the season series has been an exercise in futility for this club this season. They've lost both of the previous matchups. We'd like to stop that streak right now. They don't want to go down 0-3 to D. Let's check in for Mark Gasol. Sacramento leading by five. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Conley and Allen are the guards. Randolph and Kufis are inside. And it's Carter in at the three set. There's the pass to Lent. Shot clock at five. The turnaround jumper. Hasn't been the hot start he's wanted here. He's got a beautiful, but doesn't seem on target. Most of the time he fires. there haven't been many misses at the line for this group of players. This is how the shooting guards around the league stack up when it comes to free throw shooting in the past 10 games. The fourth position, Vince Carter. And this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact because if they can get to the bucket and the foul, it's an automatic play. And you know what, Steve, even if some calls go against them, you know, as a coach, you can accept it because when the calls go their way, ATM time, so it more than makes up for the charge calls they might get whistled for. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. Looks for Randolph, gets it to him. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And one of the factors in that game was they just couldn't get to the foul line and get enough points from the free throw line to make a difference. And it gave those opposing fans a boost every time another foul shot clanked off the rim. They were letting them hear about that. Carter, that's good. Kings leading now by five. Well, Costa Cooper is a player the Grizzlies had coveted for a couple of seasons. And just kept waiting for Bell Arthur for him. And I like what they got. A starting caliber center, good value on his contract, excellent defender, really good trade for Memphis. No one near him. Rebound by the Kings. Andrews got four rebounds now tonight. Here's the general. The offensive rebound. Landry, no good with the way. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Finally with it, he picks him up defensively. Outside Conley for three. And it's Carter missing. Sacramento's gone 0-2 from Dean Gould. Gay pass it to the general. It's rebounded by Memphis. Conley's got three rebounds so far in the game. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Allen. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Jason Thompson is checked in for Cousins. For Carl Landry. And it's Terry in for Stousis. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Tayshawn Prince is checked in for Randall. Lee comes in for Tony Allen. And it's Udrick in for Mike Conley. Pass to the general. And he has space. And he nails the jump. The general's got his second bucket. 44 seconds left to play here in the first. Udrick, 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers. Carter kicks to Udrick. Picked him clean. Okay, pushing it up. No one got to stop him. Now that's finish the break. Throw down with the coach. Now that was an incredible reverse throw down right there. Tremendous body control. I'd even go as far as say, Clark, that was a punctuation <laughs>
he's got his first basket. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter, Captain. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. All right, the second quarter is just a moment. And for the Kings guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? And I thought the key in that first quarter was the offensive aggressiveness. They tapped her in and got to the foul line. And I sense they're really feeling good about playing at home, taking advantage of the home court. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So the Grizzlies five right now. Ruder out there with Lee. And there's Tayshawn Prince. And it's Mark Gasol. And it's Carter in at the three spot. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Yes, Kevin, Memphis coach Dave Yeager paid dues for years coaching in the minor leagues. But he did more than coach. He was the GM, ticket vendor, business manager, and half of that. He said he loved the passion and spirit of that work. But there were also tough times. Guys, those struggles helped to cheer him for where he is today. A long road, but he's here now. Thanks, Doris. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. Now the Grizzlies are the kind of team that perhaps fans around the league overlook or undervalue or even forget about at times, but they're always going to be there because they're tough, they're physical, and they're talented. The Grizzlies trailed by five. Kicks it to Udrich. He feeds it to Gasol. And good on the basket. Book it. Great unspoken communication between teammates leading to the nice assist and the easy score. For Sacramento, they've gone one of three to start off the second quarter. Guys, as you were talking about, Memphis is not a big budget franchise or one with a history that runs so deep that often fans overlook them. That may be true, but it's given the Grizzlies a very underdog attitude that I think the franchise and the team and the fans have embraced. For Memphis, their last game a loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. He goes up again, and he sinks the layup. Gasol's got six. Now he's finally starting to get it going here offensively. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Sacramento. On the wing, Jason Terry. The nine-footers on the mark. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the first half. Feeds it to Gay. Here's the general. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. The general's got four this quarter. Fifty seconds left in the first half of the game. They set the pick. Conley dishes to Kufus. Back to Conley. Memphis moving that ball around. And Udrick gets to Conley. Shot clock at six. Carter on the wing. And another miss by Memphis. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Into Jason Thompson. Thank in off the glass. And the Kings lead by two. Well, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. Force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. Here's the general. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we're through two here in a good... Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Great work by Gasol. He's got 14 points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. Let's go, you're up. My time. Then for the Grizzlies, Tayshawn Prince has checked in for Randall. And it's Lee and for Vince Carter. Up front it's Thompson and Cousins. Terry is out there with Collison. And it's Gay in at the small four. That's the five out there for the Kings. Here's Cousins. He nails it. We're tied up. Cousins has got four points in the quarter. That's a clean look. The general is checked in for the Kings. Let's go now to the rookie watch for the
the past month, these have been the most productive NBA rookie scores. Take a look at the general. Leading the league in points per game. Such a great play. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Yeah, it's been a heck of a month for him. No doubt about that. Let's see if he can continue to build on it. He's one guy the defense is not afraid to leave open from that range, and for obvious reasons. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the general. That's his first foul. I know Udrick, who's checked in for Memphis. Sacramento on defense. They trail by three. Just five to shoot. In to Marcus Hall. And stolen by Cousins. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Here's the general. And it's good for Glass. The General's got 10. Terry against Lee. Out to the right wing. Pass to Gasol. Five on the clock. He's feeling it. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Nobody near day. Misses off the right eye been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. You know, last season, Sacramento Kings crowd set a world record for the loudest roar in an indoor sports game. Talk about analytics being on this field. Here's a case in point. It's 126 decimal. Now, 127 is where you can cause permanent hearing loss. My hope and prayer that the record stays at 126. 125 left for the third. The Kings trailed by five. The screen from Thompson. The general passes to Thompson. Here's the general. He's guarded by Udra. Deflects the pass. Four on the clock. Gay, that's a two-pointer, and the jumper falls for him. Gay's got eight points here in this quarter. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap up since the start of the second half. They're starting to find the ring. Steve, the lasers are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Outside Gasol. Udrich dishes to lead. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. And a two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Here's the general. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Hudrick. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Gasol, a screen on Cousins. Nobody near Allen. And the shot is long. He gets it up. And that's not going to go. And now a brief chance to view our State Farm assist of the game. It's one of seven terrific assists on the night from Tom. And what you love about his ability to pass the ball, Kevin, is that it just seems so natural to him, so fluid. He's always in control, understanding where his teammates are and anticipating passing a On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. On Lee and Lee, they're the backcourt. Tayshawn Prince out there with Zach Randall. And it's Carter in at the small forward position. Collison again top. Collison the pass to the general. And Lee pulls it down. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Dishes to come. Randolph in the posts. The jump hook gets the front of the rim and out. Boy, he should have made that one. He had plenty of pushing between himself and the defender. The drive by Collison. Can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Conley. Memphis leading by five. 
quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. There's the dish to Carter. Lee outside. Fires it up. That's good on the jump shot. Lee's got nine points here in the second half. The King shooting has been way worse so far. Only 37% from the floor. The general passes to F. Some nice ball movement here by the King. Here's Towson. Pocket six. The drive by Collison from the baseline. It's blocked. Carter. He's covered closely. Conley gets to Carter. Outside Conley. Conley left side. Boy, he just hasn't been able to get his shot to fall. Sacramento making a switch here. McCallum's checked in. And the Grizzlies. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Collison kicks to Cousins. Back to Collison. Pass to Cousins. Left block shot on the way. Off the glass. That one's good. The general is checked in for Darren Collison. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Dave Yeager coaching his team during that break. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. Fires top of the key. And a pick comes off the rim, but it sinks right in. All points for the general and the Grizzlies leading by five. Conley dishes to Gasol. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle steps for the Grizzlies. They continue to run and gun throughout the game, guys. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many. The Grizzlies have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. He kicks it to Cousins. Randolph grabs the board. Randolph's got rebound number five here tonight. You know, not really a significant margin in terms of them rebounding, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, I mean, it's helping them get the lead. And if they can continue to rebound like this, I think they're going to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket. Good, but good ball movement anyway. The general is checked in for the King. The Kings trailed by seven. He tries for three, and the shot is good. The Generals got five points now this quarter. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Steve, I know you love great teamwork. Yeah, so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. Or just kind of rhythm to the game that just happens. The ball moves almost on its own. Yeah, but it's fun to watch. For Sacramento, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Deflects the pass. From past the arc. Shot is off. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Carter left side. The feed now to Randolph. Puts up the baby hook, and it's Memphis with another one. What a big-time mismatch it's been in the post. Where's the defensive adjustment? They're getting housed down there. <laughs> this year, or you got to come up with something. Double team, maybe a substitution, but this is getting ridiculous. The Grizzlies making a change here. Allen's checked in. Shoots it up. Sacramento again missing. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. No, I agree. Got to know better than that. A try by Randolph. A chance to extend the lead. 
to double digits, but it's no good. Allen against Gabe. The general pass is to Gabe. Here's the general. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Beautiful job. in this one for the general he has 18 points he was able to come up with one steal too he's defending very well Clark he's disrupting the, the offense uh, he's playing the pass and he's trying to put as much pressure on as possible the Kings trail by seven and the clock is their worst enemy right now and they've got to work very quickly here Steve no good from Cousins that's something they need to do more of get after it on the glass go get those boys any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Conley gets the assault. It's in there. Conley with the assist. And now it's a nine-point Memphis lead. A serious game-clinching run. They've taken off here. It's been impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. First free throw is good, and that brings them within eight. Some changes for Sacramento. Evans, he's checked in for Landry. Terry comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's McCallum in for Stauskas. Well, he cut into the deficit a little bit, but not as much as he could have. One miss could make a difference. Jumps up, and then Cousins with the dunk. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out. And in a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want to be. Aggressive defense to lead to get points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Carl Landers has been forever. Gabe comes in for Jason Terry. And Stauskas is up in for Ray McCallum. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Sacramento's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. No good from the general. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. Now here is Conley. He's guarded closer. Nice job out there tonight. Thanks, man. I had a nice little matchup. I was able to make some things happen. Too bad it was in the losing effort. Hate to waste a solid game. I just got to do more. Get better. Make sure we come out on top next time. I like where your mind's at. Let's break down some film after we shower. See where we can get back. I'm with it. So, here we are again. You've kept your part of the bargain. What bargain is that? I told you if you kept playing like you were, you'd be in the starting lineup. You have, and you are. In the starting lineup? Yep. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, coach. Man, don't even worry, I got you. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna play harder, work harder, and do whatever it is to make this team better. Good. You can start right now. Now beat it. <laughs>